This here is the beginning construction phases of a water-cooled torch tip. Just wanted to show what's going on inside here before I put it all together and you can't see it. I've got two copper lines connected to this thing. Uh, got an intake and a discharge. I'm going to be pumping cooling water through there using this small little pump. And basically this piece is going to slide on here to give us our little cooling jacket. I'm going to solder this point here together to close off that area and then that will be our torch tip. I believe that's a number 70 spud. These are gas stove spuds that I've decided to use. I've decided not to go with the fan flame that I showed you. I'd rather just have a nice long dart that shoots all the way as far as it can go because I'm going to be using this tip for some pyrolysis experiments as well. I'm going to be shooting a 10 inch hydrogen flame into a tank like this full of wood and plastic. I'm going to do plastic tests on uh, pyrolysis, syngas devices and on some wood just to see what I can get. So there it is. Fresh off the burner. Ready to be hooked up. <clears throat> okay so I got this torch tip going, just a little test here. I'm using antifreeze because this garage is going to get very cold and I don't want my equipment to be damaged. So. So, that's the 5 amp flame. Now by 5 amps, of course, I'm talking about 242 watts. So, 258 watts, but probably burns all the way to four centimeters there. Okay. It's cool to the touch, whereas before it was screaming hot. That's the flow rate that we're looking at. Dude, that motor is getting hotter than fire, though. Great. <laughs> Must be too many volts. So I don't know how hot that's going to be able to get. That is way too hot. So I have more problems there. Let's see what we got. It's 6 amps. So yeah, we're about 312 watts, 6 amps. That's going to about five centimeters there. The flame clears out a little bit, but close enough. It's about 330 watts. I went down about 6.2 on me there, it looked like. I think that's probably getting all the way to the five centimeter point there. Might not let me get eight. Close enough. I'm not going to try to. That's about 500 watts. That's a pretty good sized flame there. I can feel the heat on my hand all the way over here. It's up to about. Seems to stop around seven centimeters there. Well, we'll say six and a half. Okay, it's gonna go full power on me, I think. Well, maybe I can get a nine amp out of it. Yeah, it's jumping to full power on me. So there is 1400 watts. 
Absolutely screaming flame. Might even be a little much. Or turn on the sprayer. Yeah, that's a huge amount of gas production. That's probably five liters a minute. It's actually making a turbo flame, so the actual length is not going to be shown. Yeah, it then went turbo flame on me, so it's down about seven centimeters on the turbo flame. So that's unfortunate that it's behaving that way. I was hoping to get a nice long needle flame. Man, I can really feel the heat coming off of that thing. But I'm not getting it. And I can't dial this down. Oh wow, I got it to 10 amps. That's about 660 watts. See at 10 amps the flame's longer than at 15. Because it does that turbo jet thing. Yeah, it's showing almost 10 centimeters there. I gotta turn that pump back off. Or I'll kill it. Still at about 10 amps. That's what the production looks like. I can't remember what the liter per minute that would put me at. It's invisible, so it's actually like longer than this. I'm going to say about 10 centimeters at 10 amps. And I'm going to do the turbo effect on it to observe how that flame gets shorter. There's full power. For a minute there, it gets longer. Then it's going to shrink here in a second. It's a super powered old rocket engine. It's just too much gas for that torch tip, for, for me to get a long flame anyway. I mean, that is a usable flame. What about 91 degrees there? Yeah, look if it's gotten even shorter. So I would want to know that's going, man, I can feel that heat. Big time. I'm only about five centimeters when that little bug is doing that. It's about 1600 watts. Now that tip won't really get hot when it's doing that, but see if I can get 11 amps. Probably not. 10 amps is the best I'm going to be able to do because this triac sucks. It has a distorted range. It goes from 10 amps to, to full power. There's no in between. So there's almost 11 amps. It's 750 watts. I have to know the length of this flame because I'm going to be using it in some pyrolysis devices. So I'm getting a nine centimeter flame. Yeah, I don't know that I guess, but I definitely have some pump problems. I'm going to have to figure out something that ain't going to fry this pump. That's a 12 volt, one amp transformer. And apparently that's just way too hot. I'm gonna have to find a six volt. So that's that. That is the tip that I'm gonna be putting into this just to test the, the water gasification. But eventually this flame will be shooting down into a canister. I don't know what I did with it. I'm going to take one of these propane tanks. 
and set it up to where I can put some junk in here like some wood particles and pieces of plastic and see if I can shoot a 10 inch hydrogen flame down in there and then I'm getting hot is all that means and then the gases that come out of here from the hydrogen flame I'm going to pass through another unit, this unit here I'm going to pass those gases through the red hot carbon reactor to gasify them. Or I may try to thermally crack them with the hydrogen flame. I don't know yet. But that's the plan with this flame. That's why I'm trying to figure out how long it is per amperage or whatever. So, and the reason why it's water cooled is because it's going to be exposed to extremely hot environments. Like when I have it attached to, to that unit there, it's probably going to get up to 700 degrees with that red hot carbon in there. And I don't want all my solder joints to melt. I don't want this hose to melt. Sure, I could go out and get a different hose, but or I could run a long piece of copper. But either way, I don't want pre-ignition taking place in my torch because if I get it too hot, the gas will explode inside the torch and cause a flashback and the process will have to be stopped. I'm getting a little warm here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. This pump is just so hot I can't touch it. Where's my thermal gun? Yeah, that's not giving me the right temperature. That thing's way hotter than that. Diodes are certainly hot. So, there you have it. Man, those screens are working out pretty good on the phone. I'm going to go ahead and watch this footage and jot down the links I got. It's kind of unfortunate that it did the turbo flame thing on me. I was really hoping for like a 10 inch hydrogen flame and it's not giving it to me. I don't know if I messed that tip up or what. You know, it's so there you have it. The fluid cooled oxyhydrogen torch tip.